Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to share a dream that the Lord has blessed me with. Um, he gave me this dream probably about two months ago, so sometime in the beginning of this year. And um, I've been meaning to, get, I've been needing to get this dream out uh, sooner. Um, however, I I had not, and um, during this time I felt like more of an urgency to get it out and and let other people know. Um, so the dream um, started off with me at my grandmother's house, and um, it was like in someone was getting married, and the person that was getting married was my aunt, and my my aunt is very um, she is very um, spiritual, and she is very like um, in tune with the Lord, and um, um, I feel like she was a person that like planted the seed for me. Uh, when it comes to Jesus and the Lord. Um, so she was actually the one that was getting married. And in my family, like, we know that this person is of the Lord. You know, like, we, when you think of her, you think of church. She's always going to church. You think of uh, the word. Um, so she was actually the person that was getting married. And my mother was actually uh, her bridesmaid. So I was watching my mother um, um, helping my aunt, who is the bride, um, get everything together for her wedding. It was like an at-home, like, backyard-type wedding. Um, and I don't know if this... Well, I'm just going to say it. Um, and then I actually, like, during this time, while everyone's, like, hustling, bustling around, like, getting everything ready for the wedding, um, I saw my grandfather. My grandfather actually died about four years ago. Um, however, when he came to me, I got the perception that he was a robot. Um, because like his demeanor, it wasn't all the way there, but I just had it in my head like, okay, he's a robot. And, um, so anyways, back to the wedding. Um, I actually did not see the groom at this wedding. I only seen my aunt, um, like a few of my family members, uh, running around getting, getting everything ready. And my mother who was helping the bride, which is my aunt, get ready. Um, but I, I never, I never saw the groom. Um, I was never aware of who the groom was. Um, I just saw my aunt and we just knew that a wedding was about to occur. So, um, as, as my aunt is getting ready, um, I noticed that outside it was raining and it was a very light rain, a very beautiful rain. It was a lot of rain, but the way that it was, it was like, one of those peaceful rain nights, but it was like, it was still light outside, but it was raining and it was very peaceful, but it was a lot of rain. Um, I wrote down that it was a beautiful rain. So I told my aunt, um, I let my aunt know that it was raining because the wedding was going to be outside. And uh, my aunt, who's the bride, was in a very like happy mood. Um, this may not have been her exact words, but she made a comment, something like this, like, um, uh, like, oh, wow, the Lord is crying his first tears for me. Um, but it was in a very happy and joyous mood. Um, so after this, um, I don't believe it's raining anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. So when it stops raining, there was this beautiful, very, very beautiful sunset. Like, beautiful. In my dream, like, I felt myself and I knew, like, wow this is a beautiful sunset like looking at the sunset knowing that this is like probably the most beautiful sunset I have ever seen um so I honestly do not remember if this next part was before it started raining or after it started raining and the sunset came about but all of our family we were outside dancing we were outside dancing and having a good time I remember watching everyone's faces and everyone was so happy um, we were all outside dancing. Um, so during the time we were dancing, we heard like an explosion, like on the other side of the street, because we're we're in the front of the house. Um, so we're all dancing, and we heard kind of like an explosion on the other side of the street. Um, when I first, um, when I was first kind of deciphering this message, um, I thought that the explosion was gunshots. Um, however. It was too it was too big to be gunshots so that's why I felt like it was more of an explosion um, so after this um, pretty much everyone like went back into the house after this I did not see the bride anymore I did not see my aunt that who was the bride I did not see her 
and then all of a sudden I noticed that it was nighttime it was dark um, so I went into the room where my mother was who was the bridesmaid who was the maid of honor either one but she was that's the one that was helping my aunt get ready for the wedding so she was in the back room and she was actually holding my little sister who is um who was about four years old and she was holding her so so tight with her eyes closed and this is when I noticed that it was nighttime so she was holding her she was holding her um I'm not sure but she may have been saying a prayer her eyes were closed and she was holding my little sister so tight and like I said before when we were outside dancing it was it was um daylight as soon as the explosion happened we came inside and I noticed that it was nighttime it was like nighttime I did not see the bride anymore after this um the only person that I saw was my immediate family my mother my sister and my other sister um and um yeah that's that's the end of my dream uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys um yeah I just wanted to get that word out I may I should have gotten it out way sooner than I did um but I pray that the Lord gives you eyes to see ears to hear and that maybe you're able to decipher it yourself um i do want to make this note that um um i do want to make this note that my aunt who was the bride in my dream um her birthday is actually um coming up in march it's the beginning of march i don't know if that that uh i don't know if that means anything but i just wanted to put it out there because I, like i've been watching other youtube videos and i've been hearing things of about march um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, but I do thank you guys for listening. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That was the whole entire dream. This is my first time doing this, but I wanted to, uh, share what the Lord has blessed me with and, um, and know that like, if I can't decipher it, I'm pretty sure other, other people out there may be able to, and they may get something from it. Um, so I wanted to end this off with a prayer. Um, dear heavenly father, I pray to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for emptying me out and filling me up with the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. I thank you so much for allowing me to uh, spread this dream, Lord Jesus, to your people, to your children, Lord. Um, I pray that they have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, Lord Jesus. Um, I pray that you watch over them, that you protect them, Lord Jesus, in these times, Lord. I pray that you bring your children to you, Lord Jesus. And if they are already with you, Lord, I pray that you strengthen their faith in you, Lord Jesus. I pray that we are all able to follow your word and be more like you, Lord Jesus. And I pray that uh, we have the strength during these times to overcome, Lord Jesus. And I pray that we stay true to you, Lord. I pray that whoever is listening to this word, Lord Jesus, that they're able to repent for their sins and turn to you, Lord. I thank you so, so much for all that you do. You are truly a great and a merciful God, Lord Jesus. And I thank you so, so much, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, guys.